Today, we are in Ecclesiastes chapter 5. I want to look at what Solomon says in verses 1 and 2. It says, Walk prudently when you go to the house of God, and draw near to hear rather than give the sacrifice of fools. For they do not know that they do evil. Do not be rash with your mouth, and let not your heart utter anything hastily before God. For God is in heaven and you are on earth, therefore let your words be few. These verses are talking about how we are to enter into the house of God and how we are to approach Him and listen and speak. You see, we know in Psalms 100 verse 4 it says, Enter His gates with thanksgiving, go into His courts with praise, give thanks to Him and praise His name. We know from Exodus and Leviticus there were rules set up on who and how to enter the tabernacle of God. You see, we have to remember that this is before the veil was torn and that now, after Jesus' sacrifice on the cross, we are no longer separated from His presence. His presence lives in us. And the Bible says in Hebrews 4, verse 16, it tells us that, So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. Therefore, we will receive His mercy, and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. David Guzik says boldly like this, Boldly does not mean proudly, arrogantly, or presumptuous. Boldly means we may come constantly, and boldly means we may come without reservation. Boldly also means we can come freely without fancy words, and it means we can come with confidence. Boldly means we can come with persistence to God. See, God wants to speak with us, hear our hearts, but we must also need to remember that He is still God, and like it says in verse one of Ecclesiastes here, we should draw near to hear what God is saying, rather than just to spout off all of our demands and complaints. We should always be quick to hear, slow to speak before our Creator. See, I know as a man I am quick to try to work something out or just fix something sometimes before I even know the real problem. When I jump into that and run my mouth by trying to fix it, there are times I just seem to make things worse. See, I want to hear from God and His perfect will before I speak to something I only see in part. You see, in verse 1, it talks about us needing to listen more. And in verse 2, it tells us to watch what we say, especially in haste. In James 1.19, it says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. You see, we can apply this to every person in our life when we come across them. But listen. How much more should we apply this to God when we come before Him? See, I want my heart to be soft and teachable before Him, and I don't want to be arrogant or presumptuous. Today, as you spend time with the Lord, listen to what He is trying to speak, and be slow to assume and be slow to speak. God has a plan for you today, and if you will just listen and walk it out in your life, He will bless you.